here we have the wee baby prototype printing parts for the next wee baby so these are the idler the corner idler brackets in white ghost white cpe these parts and here is the frame so these are the motor brackets so we are done with the bottom part of the frame now we're gonna do the top then we have our base frame excited I really have a are looking to add the top extrusions these are the 350s and these are the 310s for the x 350 for the y we have our motor bracket it's going up top here same with this guy going up top here the y extrusions are going on the top like this and then we're gonna add the x in between I made myself a template for centering this one. So this will be uploaded to GitHub. So you can make sure this guy is centered inside your frame. I'm making two versions, one large and one like half the size. Not everyone can print this big. To add the top extrusions, I'm turning the machine on the side. So it's easier for me to add the T nuts inside the V slots. I'm also adding the corner L brackets at this point. So everything is in place, ready to assemble. The printed parts also goes on. Adding more T nuts, making sure we have all in place. You can take a look at the cut model if you are unsure. So just uh, using an Allen key to push the T-nuts in place so we can access them with our screws. So take turn in tightening these screws. Just make sure that everything is tight and nice. Don't over tight anything as this is aluminum. And also we have the printed parts So add both motor brackets. You can kick them a little bit with the backside of something. Make sure everything is flush. Slide the motor bracket a little bit up so you can add the V slot. Add the T nuts. There's one T nut in each slot in each end. Here you can see the top screw. So you can access that from the motor mount. Just kicking a little bit to make sure everything is flush. And then go around tightening the screws. For the motor side crossbar, we need some extra T-nuts. We need two extra in the front, two extra in the bottom. We need one in each T-slot on the side, except the top. So three on each side and two extra in the front and two extra in the bottom. I actually managed to place this one the wrong way. So make sure that you have two extra facing towards us and two extra facing downwards, not upwards like I have in this video. Go around, tighten the L brackets, slide your tinas in get everything flush and nicely tight do not over tighten do not squeeze the plastic these parts should be printed at 100 percent infill let's look at the idler crossbar and we need some extra tinas here as well we need two on the inside and we need two in the bottom for the center c axis and then three on each side, no one up top. For the idler bracket, we need to insert some bolts before we add them to the frame. This is very important. So these are M5 by 40s. I'm just gonna kick them in place. The bolts could be M5 by 35s if you are not adding the belt tension brackets. 
just get all the T-nuts and screws in place and uh, tighten randomly. So add the crossbar, make sure you have it oriented the right way with two extra on the underside and two extra T-nuts on the inside. Make sure the C-axis is centered correctly and then tighten the L-brackets. That's it for the brace frame. We need to add some more printed parts to this frame. That's coming in the next video. So subscribe and uh, hit the bell to follow this project. Thank you for watching. See you soon.